And when a 12,000 pounder strikes, it strikes. Also very big news at the moment is the American daylight bombing of Berlin. First, let's meet Colonel Thorpe and some of his men, for they were the first there. All set, Colonel. Go ahead. It was my pleasure to have led the first heavy American bombardment mission over Berlin. It was also my pleasure to have had in our group the first American flag to fly over Berlin. Well, Lieutenant Brown was the pilot on the lead ship for that day. Brown, how about a few words from you? Well, Colonel, I'm glad we were alone on that one, but I don't care about going on too many more like <laughs> Uh, Lieutenant Durr, the navigator who led the mission into Germany that day. Durr, how about some words from you? Well, as you know, it was uh, tough navigating because of the almost impossible weather we had. However, I'm glad now that you elected to go on in, and uh, I'm proud that our outfit could be the first one to make the trip. Good. Uh, Lieutenant Flagler, a bombardier up in the nose. Well, Colonel, the fighters made it pretty hot and the weather made it pretty cold, but I believe we hit the target. Good. Well, man, now that we've been the first to Berlin, how would you like to go back again? Yeah! Well, they and most of the hundreds of crews came home safely, though over 60 didn't return from that first American daylight attack. And the rest of this film, taken by American combat camera units, shows part of the great forces on the way out and over the target. The fortresses, there were liberators as well, were escorted by long-range fighters, and great air battles developed on the outward and homeward journeys at many points over the long route. Slack too made the going pretty tough. But undoubtedly, the toughest time was had by Berlin. Berlin, already burnt and battered and blasted by the heavy night attacks of the Royal Air Force, now found itself being rocked and shattered by day. Still photographs taken over the capital of the Reich tell their own story. It's a story that must have spread through the length and breadth of Germany. The first film of the Americans over Berlin, and since then they've been again. And no doubt they'll go again and again, not forgetting the RAF, until as an effective industrial and administrative center, Berlin is no more. <laughs>